Yeah, there have been a, a lot of snakes out this year. We had a little event in the South at Quail Hill. Stewardship, citizen stewardship. How far down the trail? Yeah. yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea. But I'm sure oh. we saw two different species of them. The last time we only saw this kind. We didn't see the darker ones. Is this all giving access into one massive uh, uh, area underneath, or is each one an independent unit? You know, these are not considered colonial. They're okay. considered solitary bees. Uh, okay. And so my guess is that they're not all connected. Everybody's got their own. Why they, they decide to do this as a group in one area here, I really don't know. And you won't see the same bee going into multiple holes? You do. I was going to say because I'm just I'm seeing that right now. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't know. I we we need to do a lot more research about these guys to find out exactly what's happening here. You're gonna need a backhoe to get into this thing. This is gonna be like rock solid clay. Yeah. I walked along here one time when it was raining. We had a downpour, and we couldn't virtually could not stand up. It was so slippery. Wow. We were trying to walk on the sides where there might be a little tiny bit of grass that would give us some traction. Me. I mean, that's so deleterious to these bees. Yeah. And yet the bees just don't pay any attention to structures. They, wow. they go in a little ring around the top, you know? They start at the ground and they work their way up and make these little tubes. And what the purpose of the tubes is, I have no idea. But they crawl back into the tubes. Yes. There's one external sitting up on top. Right. And the bee crawls back into the tube. Right. And then goes down under the ground where the nests are. Okay. Okay. So, so that forms an entryway then into... Yes. Now, ah, it could be that the side...